Yo ho ho and a bottle of rum, Johnny Depp is back on the big screen, this time without the pirate's costume. He is a journalist in the movie The Rum Diary, based on the book by Hunter S. Thompson. video. I'm Rob, and The Rum Diary is a film adaptation of the book by Hunter S. Thompson. He wrote it back in the early 1960s, but it did not get published until 1998. And as many of you know, uh, the, his book, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, went on to be a cult film also starring Johnny Depp. Okay, um, let's see. Before I go further into uh, my review of this movie, I want to be upfront and honest. I have never seen Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. I know, you must think I suck, don't you? But the good thing is, I don't have to compare that film with this film like a lot of other people are doing. Um, I also never read the book, The Rum Diary, so I'm not too sure if this movie is close to the book or not, but uh, in this film, Johnny Depp plays Paul Kemp, who is a struggling novelist who accepts a job at an English language paper in San Juan, Puerto Rico in 1960. Now, the moment he wakes up from a hangover from his first night there, he begins a series of strange experiences including his editor who hates his own newspaper, an alcoholic who writes religious correspondence, cockfights, greedy businessmen who want to hire Thompson to write for them, and crazy businesses involving cars. Um, I think the movie was definitely more about greed and corruption and self-interest rather than Kemp's uh, weird situations. When someone can buy and sort of manipulate people for their own self-serving benefit. Um, in a way, the movie, I think, as a result, is kind of reveling. You've got two situations. You've got Aaron Eckhart, who plays a businessman named Sanderson, who plans to uh, involve building a hotel, and the editor of the newspaper, who doesn't really care too much for Kemp's stories about what is really going on in Puerto Rico. All he cares about is happy tourism stories. Um, I did enjoy The Rum Diary, maybe a little bit more in the first hour, involving Kemp and his writer friend and roommate Bob Sala, uh, the newspaper, and um, some early scenes involving Sanderson, and I did get some chuckles out of it, but I felt like the movie was, you know, not really a comedy like the trailer has advertised, but in a way, I felt like the movie was kind of restrained. I thought it would have been worked better perhaps if it was just a little bit m more over the tall top rather than calm. Uh, the movie can be a bit talky at different points, but I think the performances made me enjoy the film. You, Depp gives a very subtle performance, and Richard Jenkins plays uh, the editor, and Eckhart I found believable as a sleazy person. Giovanni Ribisi plays Moberg, who is an alcoholic writer, and early on it felt like he was acting in a play with exaggerated gestures and his talking, but I did find him funny, and towards the end he did kind of calm down a bit. The camera also does a few artistic things. Sometimes it leans and sways like, you know, like we the viewers are a little bit drunk throughout the situation this, that we're in. Um, Rum Diary, it kind of, in a way, it kind of reminded me of a sketch show or movie anthology. There's not really a storyline, but there's a series of different spots that, you know, that's, that keep going back and forth. They go, and then the next one, then they might come back to another one and all. Um, some, of, some of the stories were better than others, and uh, while I enjoyed myself, I felt the movie was a little bit too long, especially in the second half, which ironically features Kim trying very hard to pull something off for a cause that he believes in, you know, something we, sh we should be rooting for him in. I felt like that wasn't really exciting and anything like that. Rum Diary, I think, is amusing, and it's fun entertainment with some very good funny moments and some very interesting drama and some mystery, but to me, I don't think this is enough for me to recommend going to the theater for. I give The Rum Diary a rented on DVD verdict. It's got some good moments, but I felt like it was too long and some stuff didn't always work. So that's my review of The Rum Diary. Feel free to leave your comments about the, the movie. And I think I'm going to go ahead and... Sh I think it's time I checked out Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. If I do a review on it, I'll let you know how, how it is. Thank you.